Hi all, my name is Hani Tyagi and I'm currently working as assistant professor with AI SSMS College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology, Pune. I teach front office operations and management subject. Today, my video is made for the chapter yield management. This topic is divided into two parts. In this part of video, we will learn these objectives concept of yield management, applicability of yield management to front office, measuring yield by using various formulas. In the next video, part two, we'll cover the application of measuring yield by solving a numerical. So let's begin. What is yield? Yield simply means revenue made. Yield can also be considered a synonym for revenue management, simply resumed as the dynamic pricing, overbooking, and allocation of perishable assets to maximize revenue. Perishable assets here, which is in front office departments, are rooms. Yield management is a technique used to maximize room revenues. Yield management is an inventory focused branch of revenue management, which involves strategic control of inventory to sell it to the right customer at the right time for the right price. Revenue management considers the bigger picture more and may involve things like forecasting and in-depth analytics. Revenue management has a wider focus while aimed to maximizing revenue from hotel rooms in much the same way, but also deals with the cost of selling and money made from the other aspects as well, like food and uh, beverage department and laundry services. Revenue management complements yield management, providing a strategic approach with a wider focus and allows maximizing overall revenue generated by the hotel. Yield management is an evaluating tool that allows the revenue or a front office manager to use the potential revenue as the standard against which actual revenue can be compared. Yield is equal to looking at the formula, it's actual revenue upon the potential revenue. So Actual revenue is room sold multiplied by average daily rate or ARR. Now potential revenue is achieved by total rooms available in the hotel multiplied by the rack rate. Let's understand this by taking a simple example here to calculate yield statistic. The hotel has total 50 rooms and having one category of room with the rack rate of rupees 7000 and 40 rooms were sold with an ADR of rupees 5000. Here, first, what is actual revenue? Now, looking at as per the formula, 40 rooms sold multiplied with ADR of 5000, the actual room revenue generated is rupees 2 lakhs. Now, what is potential revenue? So rooms available, which is multiplied by or with the rack rate. So total rooms available in this hotel are 50, which is multiplied with the rack rate, which is the highest rate of the hotel here in this uh, problem is 7,000. So the potential revenue received is rupees 350,000. Hence, the yield statistic is the ratio of actual revenue generated to the potential revenue. And to find out the yield percentage is multiplied by 100. So here, the yield percentage is 57%. Yield of a hotel can only be 100% in a situation when actual revenue and potential revenue is same which is very complex to achieve. Let's understand the concept of yield management. Yield management is based on demand and supply. 
higher the demand for rooms is equals to maximize room rates which means hotel is having high occupancy and demand of room is very high then the hotel should sell the rooms on rack rate or maximum rate and avoid giving discount low demand for rooms is equals to maximize room sales which means hotel is having low occupancy and less demand of rooms due to, due to slack season then the hotel should aim to maximize occupancy by selling rooms on a right discounted price the hotel aim is should be from high volume booking to high profit booking which means the hotel should focus on high profit by selling lesser rooms instead selling rooms in volume which is not making enough profit now let's see the application of yield management in front office yield management seeks to maximize revenue by using hocas information with the help of these three tools or methods capacity management or selective overbooking balance the risk of overbooking against potential loss of revenue from reservation cancellations early departure and no shows capacity management involves various methods of controlling and limiting room supply in some cases a hotel may well choose to accept more bookings than it can actually accommodate for example hotels will typically accept a statistically supported number of reservations in excess of actual rooms availability in an attempt to offset the effects of early departure cancellations and no shows capacity management also called as selective overbooking which balances the risk of overselling guest rooms against the potential loss of revenue arising from the room spoilage now what is room spoilage which means rooms going unoccupied after the hotel stopped taking reservations for a given date discount allocation or differential pricing now it restricts time period and product mix which is rooms available at reduced or discounted rate which means allowing discount on room rate that is rates below rack rate to rooms for a restricted period of time that is to say for a specific period the main idea behind discount allocation is to sell the room and earn some revenue at least rather than keeping the room vacant earning no revenue at all this process of allowing discount by room type serves two purposes protect enough remaining rooms at a higher rate and b it encourages upselling for effective decision making the management must be supported by a reliable demand forecast system third duration control or duration restriction this means that it is based on the management information system the reservation department might find it more beneficial for the hotel to refuse the request of reservation made by a guest for one night even though the room may go vacant for that night this is done with an objective that an expected request for more nights reservations by another guest in other words higher level of revenue shall be accepted so places time constraints on accepting reservation in order to protect rooms for multi day reservation which represents higher levels of revenue measure yield as you have seen earlier in this video the yield statistic is the ratio of actual revenue generated to the potential revenue the hotel may calculate the potential revenue on the basis of two assumptions first method when it is presumed that all the rooms of the hotels are sold on double occupancy and at this rack rate the total revenue so generated shall be called as potential revenue however it is a hypothetical case that all rooms are sold at rack rate and on double occupancy second method of calculating potential occupancy 
which gives a lower figure is where the calculations are done on the basis of percentage of rooms normally sold on single and double occupancy. In this case, it is important to note that potential revenue figure which is forecasted on the basis of forecasted percentage of double and single room sale may be surpassed and a higher potential revenue figure might emerge if demand for double rooms increases the above for cash figure. Considering these important factors follow the formulas which are used here. Looking at the first step, step one, which is potential average single rate. It's PASR. The formula is single room revenue at rack rate upon number of rooms sold as singles, which is multiplied by 100. So it is the ratio of single occupancy room revenue to the total number of rooms, PADR. It is the ratio of double occupancy room revenue to the total number of rooms. The potential average double rate can be calculated as double rooms revenue at rack rate upon number of rooms sold as doubles, which are multiplied by 100. Multiple occupancy percentage. It is calculated as the ratio of the number of rooms occupied by more than one guest to the number of occupied rooms. It is important because it indicates sales mix and helps balance rates with future occupancy demand. The multiple occupancy percentage is equals to number of rooms occupied by more than one person upon total number of rooms sold into 100. Step four, which is rate spread. The determination of a room rate spread among various room types is essential to the use of decision making in targeting a hotel's specific market. So rate spread is equals to PADR, which is potential average double rate, minus PASR, which is potential average single rate. Step five, which is potential average rate. It is a collective statistic that effectively combines the potential average single rate, combines the potential uh, with the multiple occupancy percentage and rate spread. The potential average rate is calculated, calculated as multiple occupancy percentage multiplied by rate spread, then plus potential average single rate. Step six, which is room rate achievement factor, it is the percentage of the rack rate that the hotel actually receives is contained in the hotel's achievement factor, also called the rate potential percentage. It can be calculated as actual average rate upon potential average rate, which is multiplied by 100 gives you the achievement factor percentage. Last step is yield statistic. Now, as we know that yield is the ratio of actual revenue generated to the potential revenue. It can be calculated by the various uh, ways. So there are two, three formulas for calculating yield. The first one is occupancy percentage multiplied by achievement factor. The next one is actual revenue upon potential revenue. We have done this formula earlier also by understanding one example. And the third one is room nights sold upon room nights available multiplied by actual average room rate upon potential average room rate. Let's recap. We learned in this session concept of yield management, which is based on supply and demand. Yield management methods, which are capacity management, discount allocation and duration control. We also learned to calculate yield with various formulas. In our next video, we will apply these steps of measuring yield in, in a numerical form. I have referred certain books, which you also may refer. 
Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.